And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Holly. Now, when we go to the mall, I think one of Holly's favorite places is to go to Brookstone and play with the sand that's there, the kinetic sand. Yeah. Yeah. So she's always trying to get a hold of that sand. She's, you asked for that sand for Christmas, didn't you? Yes. Right. Because I want sand all over the house. Now... So uh, when I saw this board game, I knew I had to get it for Holly because it comes with that sand. Super Sandman, the game. Although this has nothing to do with the Marvel character Sandman. This is about crossing the beach with a shoe and blocking other players. Are you ready? Yes. The point of this game is to take your shoe all the way across the board. And you're going to be doing that by card play. Players are going to have some cards in their hand, and on their turn, you play a card, and then draw one. Now, most of the cards you play will be this shoe. When you play a shoe, you pick your shoe up, and you can place your shoe anywhere you want, as long as part of it touches the previous footprint. So that's pretty simple. However, other people are going to be trying to stop you. One of the ways to stop you is to put a block in front of you. So let's say someone plays a block card. They're going to take some sand and put it into the block. There's a mold that comes with the game to make a block. And then they're going to put that block anywhere they want, blocking somebody in. Oh, I guess they don't like the green player figures. So now you can see green has a block. Now, there's a couple ways green can deal with that. Green could play move cards and simply go around the block if they wanted to. Green could also play a bridge card. And when they play a bridge card, they can build this bridge card and go over the block on their next turn and then off of it. You can even use the bridge card the, to build a bridge over somebody else if they're being kind of a pain or in your way. You can also use a bridge card because the next thing that you can uh, play in front of somebody is water. So there are water tiles. When you place a water tile, you'll see they have pegs on them. And a bridge tile will get you over water too. Other than that, you can't go through water. Water's worse than a block because there is a super smash thing here. This card lets you go right through one of these, which is incredibly satisfying. When you move, the next move just goes right through that block. That's right. Don't you try to stop me. And then finally, you have these, which lets you take a block off the board, a bridge off the board, or water off the board. So you'll keep doing this until eventually one player gets all the way across the board and that player is the winner. You'll notice that each of the four different uh, boots has a different footprint on them and that's how you play. All right, Holly, what did you think of Super Sandman? It was fun. It was fun to destroy the block walls. Yes, I think that's probably my favorite part too smashing block walls. It's fun to build block walls, I would think. Now, is there any strategy in the game? Try moving the entire time without trying and block the people who are trying to block you. Who should you block? The people blocking you or the person winning? The person winning. Okay, good. I thought at least you're learning something here. Um, yeah, the game is really straightforward. You're moving to their side. You'll have to go diagonally, get out of your way. The cards you get are going to determine. Some cards are better than others. You know, a bridge card is good. Move it, you need movement cards. If you have no movement cards, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, you just got to play what you have. Block other people or build bridges and so on. Uh, it's fun. It's definitely for kids. It's going to be for people who like sand. The game has that kinetic sand, so there's not like grains of sand everywhere, but it does leave residue around. Like right now, we're looking at the table. The game used to be there, and there's some of it around. I guess th the game will slowly deteriorate, I suppose. Some of the sand will disappear each time. We're talking minuscule amounts, but it's going to happen. Um, so what else did you like about the game? The so that's boots. The boots. What did you like about the boots? The things. Oh, the, the treads on them? Here, slide over with me. So the treads on them, you like that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was cool. And the kids like seeing the footprints on the sand. 
Um, there's a little bit of blocking each other, so there may be some weeping and wailing if you're about to win and someone blocks you. But there's always cards to get around that, and eventually someone else will be blocked because they're winning. And the game is fast no matter what. We're talking 10 minutes length of a game. Um, so it is, you know, some people aren't going to want this because they don't want sand in their house. Some people aren't going to want this because they, uh, you know, it's just not, it's not that kind of style game. There's a little bit maybe too much take that in it. But if you like that sand and you like this style game, I think you will enjoy it as I think you did. Should we keep it? Yes. How about no? Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.